MXG Con Gaming here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to mod your own Dead Island with the Dead Island Save Register. The download for this will be in the description below. If if you didn't got bothered with the description or anything like that, then just type in on Google or search bar D I S E, which is Dead Island Save Register, the initials of it. Third link down, for a bit, like that. I will take you to this website. You have to scroll down a bit to find the downloads. So, look at to load. I'll scroll down. Um, by the way, there are a few videos on, on this website that show you what you're doing. But hey, this is my video, not theirs. So, here are the downloads right here. And what you want to do, you want to download the top one. When it says full, it's don't, don't do it because it's the top one that you need. Same as mine. So, now you have it. What you're going to do is, you're going to go, if it's for Xbox, what you want to do is you want to download Horizon, that will be in the description below, as well as Dice. <coughs> and if you want to get the save, then you're going to pl plug your USB into your Xbox, get your Dead Island save, put it on USB, take it back t to your computer, open up Horizon or Modio, extract the file to your desktop, and there it should be. And it doesn't have to be save one, it could be save zero, two, three, four, five, you know, just how many saves you have. Um, so yeah, that's where that is. If you have it for PC though, just open it up to the save register, as well as for Xbox, you guys do this too. If you have PC, it'll be right here, just double click that. But for Xbox, I'm going to do it for that. So, open, and I get the save, which you put, which you extracted from your uh, Horizon or Modio to your desktop, right here. So this is what I had. So you go look into inventory. And here are your items from when you last left off. I've already modded this though, so I have all the awesome, amazing items that aren't even in the game, I don't think. And on the right here you have gin storage. Or gin slash storage, which is the things like gin carries for you. You can fill all the stuff you want, you know. But I don't really recommend it because what's the point in that? I mean what you're going to get out of it, you know. So, uh, here you can edit your cash, or how much money you have. Uh, usually it'll be like a random number, like, I don't know, that maybe? I don't know. I don't know how many you guys have. You just max it out like that, as well as these three other, uh, icon boxes things. Uh, so you want all these maxed out. It doesn't matter the quick slots, you could use those. I don't really tend to. So I'll show you how this works. What you have to do is, you know, just go ahead, find the weapon you want. Uh, let's just say I wanted the Zed's Demise. That'll be on my demonstration weapon. So you double click it. And here you go. Zed's Demise. But it's crap. It's it's like nothing right now. So what you would do, required level is level 60. Unbreakable, an upgrade level up to level 4. And you want it to be exceptional. That's how you get the strongest you know, Zed's the mice you can get. Also, get, I recommend the Deathstalker mod, but you can get any mod you want. I'm going to use Deathstalker. As you can see, there it is. Oh, what am I doing? I, I messed up really badly there, haven't I? <laughs> Have I? No, I haven't. Okay, okay, cool. So, false alarm, false alarm. Anyways, so yeah, there it is. Let's get rid of it, because I have one right here. Uh, so we're going to do mods and collectibles. So here are all the mods in the game. Uh, I just get all of them, as well as ID cards, these, and tapes. Just click all. Uh, so yeah. Moving on to skills. So skills are very interesting because, well, if you click this button underneath all skills characters, then it gives you every single skill from your character but also from the rest. And it's also like proper maxed out as well, so it's past the limit. You can also reset all, so it's like that. You just give all, or you know, yeah, just do what you want really. I tend to give myself all the skills from the game. Uh, on the map, it would usually be something like, I don't know, this maybe for you? I don't know, depends where you've been. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to make a bit of a path to sort of show you what it looks like. 
So yeah, you show someone like a little bit like this, something near there, I guess. I just reveal everything. Do that for all of these two, if you want to see everything. Actually, I, I think it's quite pointless, but oh well, no, never mind. <laughs> Actually, no, because the, the in-game map it shows you that you've been everywhere. So yeah, do it anyways. Uh, here, if you were injured when you quit the game, you can heal up. Uh, rage mode charge, you can refill that too. And you can also have infinite health and stamina. Cool. Uh, with premium, you know you need premium for that, obviously. the nah, hate premium. And in skills, that's where you can set your level. So if I want to be level... Is that possible? 79? No? Yeah? Yeah? No? No. Uh, you can be anything from level 1 to level 60. So, yeah. I think that's about all this Dead Island City Register has to offer for now. Hopefully there will be another version. And hopefully that will actually be better. So now, to save it, what you want to do, uh, if you're on Xbox, then you go to Tools, usually, this would, be, this would be checked. Just click it to uncheck it, as you can see. File, save. Let's see it saved. If you use a PC, don't do anything with this, just save it straight away. Let's go, save. And it'll do that, like a little Steam Sync thing sign. But this is for the Xbox, so it won't sync properly, so it wouldn't save. Just a word of warning there, guys. Do that. If you do it both, then, you know, leave it on. You can do it PC first, turn it off when you're doing Xbox. Yeah, just do that. That's <laughs> all I can say, really. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed. Uh, please comment and subscribe for more. This is George. Peace out.